Hey, how you doing? And welcome to Sporting Drives in Colorado. I'm your host and driver, Uncle Dan. Today, however, I'm also going to be your aerodynamicist. Yes, that's right. Jeez, I got close. Hey, how you doing? And welcome to Sporting Drives in Colorado. I'm your host and driver, Uncle Dan. Today, however, I'm also going to be your aerodynamicist. Yes, that's right, kids. We're going to do some science. Now, several years ago, back in the late 60s, early 70s, there was a big question with some of the special muscle car models built in America that had wings and were convertibles. The question was, is there any air actually going over the wing when the top is down, or is it better to have the top up? So some of the manufacturers did a little experimenting and what they discovered shocked the world because so many people had the idea that with the roof down they got better wind over the wing. What they discovered was just the opposite. Very few cars got anything happening over the wing. Most of them had so much turbulence going over the back of the car that absolutely nothing was happening back there and as a matter of fact they were developing a lot of drag and lift. No, as come over here for a minute. I said, get over here. Don't you make me get you. There. Now that's good. As you can see, we don't have much anything back here. I mean, it's only like what? Not even a meter wide back here. So, any wing, any spoiler back here it just really isn't going to have much opportunity to do anything my big concern is do you get more drag and lift with the top down or up so today we're going to find something out we're going to make use of some very sophisticated technology very delicate devices here now we all know that tail tails are used by sailors and aerodynamicists, so I've kind of put together some, well, they're not exactly pretty, but they should work. So we're going to go out and we're going to see exactly what happens in the real world. Now what happens with a convertible when the top is down is the wind comes up over the windshield, windscreen for you other people, and it wants to come and backlash underneath this will typically cause several different rollers in back that causes drag and lift on the tail end now you can see I have a custom device here that I built put on to help stop that Mazda did that in the first place my device brings it down lower brings the streamline down lower because it stops the air from going forward more now when this circular bubble of air stops moving forward, you're basically deflating a balloon that's holding up the streamline, the air stream, and it's actually brought it down more about here. But what we want to know is what's going on back here. So I'm going to mount you on a long mounting here. so. You can see you're going to be bouncing around a little bit. You're going to, it's going to be noisy. The point here isn't a good video. The point here is seeing what happens. Because this is science. Okay, I was just looking over the data. And i got to say, it's really amazing and surprising. Of course, one of the things that's not so surprising is what we discovered was that Mazda has designed these things in a wind tunnel in the first place. But driving, when you look at the nose, it's obvious, you know, I mean, you couldn't avoid getting lots of downforce on the front end from this. But when I drive, I don't notice the rear end ever getting lighter or the front end getting heavy. It feels like it's just as evenly balanced at zero miles per hour as it is at 70. So that kind of explains that there has to be some downforce on the back because there's obviously lots on the front. Of course, the lack of air going underneath is also going to hold the whole car down in a balanced fashion. But what we want to see on the telltales is we want to see them land flat on the trunk and pointing straight back and not moving at all. Now, 
That said, I made the mistake of leaving loops at the end of my telltales, which causes them to flop around a lot more in the wind. But uh, the experiment wasn't totally corrupted. It's just minor. You can still see what we want to see. So here we go. Now I'm sorry. I have to apologize for the narrow view. That's you know with the top up. This is all I could do. So here's what. Here we are taking off down the highway. Now I'm going to stop and start it real quick, off and on, so that you can see more of what the telltales are doing. Where it stops at most often is going to be the normal thing. Okay. Now here we are at 45. I guess you could see 30. Oh, sorry about the, the shine over here. But as we can see, if you keep an eye on these outside, they line up with the edge of the car really nicely. And they're all laying down with the roof up at 48 miles per hour. Now what you sometimes think you see is flying up in the air is actually rising over the edge of the of the spoiler or this brake light now there was a, a little crosswind coming this way and i apologize for that but all you got to do is just think turn them this way a little bit and then and you've got it but as we see the air is coming around the the cab the roof and it's actually kind of swirling a little bit around but by the time it gets to halfway down the trunk lid it the telltales are pointing back that actually looks pretty damn nice and especially out here at the edge that's just right down along with the edge of the car here we are at 60 miles per hour now we see there's kind of a void here but still, halfway down the trunk lid, the telltales start pointing back. You can see a little bit of the two center ones point, flying up in the air a little bit. But they're down hugging the trunk lid or the boot lid quite nicely, actually. Now we're going we're gonna to scoot on up here where we've got... Let me see. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, pull the roof down. Here we are. Okay, you can watch it because it looks funny. And here we are, windows up, roof down. Now, if you notice, the side telltales are still lining up with that corner. I mean, that's just beautiful the way it comes around the cab. Now, remember, we've got two seat headrests and row bars here and over here so what we're seeing here with this telltale and this one is the wind is actually turbulence circling around behind uh, the row bars and headrest you can see there's not a lot of force on this one but there's pretty good force on these two here the rest of the telltales are lining up pretty nicely these are pointing slightly inward from with the roof up and we can see that these are flying up in the air a little bit. They're still mostly pointing back. So everything's pretty much hugging the trunk lid just like with the roof up. Now we're going to go with the, with the windows down and the roof down. Now we see a lot of sticking up in the air, flying up in the air, and a little bit of forward movement even. Mostly just standing straight up with these two back here. This one is still pointing forward. Not hugging. You can see the shadow under it. These two here are pretty much going back. Pretty much hugging the, the deck lid. And then these two here on each side are pretty much the same. But as you see, everywhere I stop, all but this one are still hugging the lid. They're being pushed down. That means you're getting downforce on there. Unlike what I was suspecting, there's a, quite a bit of downforce from the top on the trunk lid. Now we've taken out the, 
center the rear divider wind uh, divider and uh, this one is with the windows up roof down wind divider diffuser missing let's get on full screen for you and we see look at these telltales here on the sides I mean isn't that just beautiful I think if they had, hadn't, if I'd cut the loops at the ends, I think they would just be sitting still. But here we see, look here, lots of turbulence. These two here are just freaking out, pointing up, forwards, back, every which way. And the, the ones in the center ridge, see, as you can see, they're not even, they're slack. And mostly pointing forwards. So this rear wind diffuser is actually doing a lot. We see these two out here. They're still hugging the trunk lid though. It's just the turbulence coming around behind the headrest, the two headrests. And of course in the cockpit you can feel all this. That the wind is just going right through this between the two seats. But see, you can see the lots of turbulence. These are just these Telltales are just not really doing anything and certainly not hugging the deck and they are pointing forward most of the time So what we've learned from this is there's a lot of downforce on that tail end Just as it is just the stock car and it's almost doesn't make any difference if you've got the roof up or down I think the people at Mazda Did their work and took it home with them I think it's a brilliant design. I don't think I've ever seen such an all-around even design. So I believe that concludes our science. Thanks for watching. It's been fun.